Soundcore, well known for their headphones and earbuds in the audio space, now has the Soundcore Frames, a Bluetooth pair of audio glasses. Let's check them out. guys welcome back today we're checking out soundcore's latest drop now these are not the typical right not headphones not earbuds these are glasses audio bluetooth glasses the soundcore frames price tag 199.99 how good are they we're gonna find out right now i'm gonna tell you my thoughts I've, I've been using these for about a month so i've had them for a while so we're gonna talk about what i really think about these glasses and if they are worth it interchangeable lenses on here so there is there's going to be a lens for just about anybody any style that you have when it comes to glasses they're going to have something for you very easy to change out too and you can buy multiple frames on here to you know different settings you can get different frames very cool sound cool reframe your sound bluetooth audio glasses open surround this does come with app support as well and we change it over to the back of the box interchangeable frames with a quick release Spacious sound via open surround system. 5.5 hours of playtime. We'll go over all of the specs. IPX4 water resistant. So sweat resistant, you know, not waterproof. If it starts raining, I probably wouldn't keep them out in the rain. Two mics for clear calls. And of course, we will do a mic test. And on the bottom, it does give us a little bit more interchangeable frames. Soundcore frames case. It does come with a case. Magnetic charging cable and a cleaning cloth. Now. We'll take a look at what they have here. So again, there are 10 different frames on here, 10 different styles of glasses on here. These are the tour style. These kind of remind you of the old police, right? The old cops glasses that we used to see in TV shows and everything and on the police. And if we turn it over, you can see here, this is where you are going to connect the frames and they are very easy to use. And the build quality on here is really nice, very premium in my opinion. And then we have a different style here. And these are the ones that I would use. These are the only two styles that I have are these right here. And this is the landmark style. I do have a pair on their website that I am going to buy that I think I'm going to like a lot better. I do want to pick up the Harbor style. That's more of my style of sunglasses. And these are a bit small for me to use, but I will show you what they look like, even though they don't look too good on me. Now, again, on the back of here, you can see we're going to have that those ports to connect on here very clean and very nice now also in the packaging we do get the carrying case here we just open it up throw it in and this is a kind of a microfiber lining on it and there are magnets in here to keep this thing shut and the branding on the front for sound core we also get some paperwork and if you want to read about the paperwork you can you can also go on their website and there there's plenty of videos Plenty of videos on their website, plenty of videos on YouTube explaining how these work. Now, USB-A to their, their magnetic charging cable here. You do have two different ports here, two different pin sets here that you are going to connect to your frames here. You can see your frames here have the same magnetic connections to on each of these. And to connect these, actually, you see that? Let's turn that off so you can hear that. I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but you're going to get some sound leakage on here. So I'm actually glad that that happened. Now, to connect these, very simple. And the reason that did start, because there are touch controls on here and swipe gestures, just so you know. So you're just going to take this, you're going to put it in the little pin, and you are just going to clip it in. And it does work very well. And these things are built really good in my opinion very easy to use and you can see they look like a good pair of glasses now i mentioned earlier that they are not the first to this space but if we take a look look at how thin these are for audio glasses a lot of the other ones that have come before these frames here are very thick and not very comfortable and they don't look very well these in my opinion whether you like this type of frame or not again there are other frames that you can get but whether you like this type of frame or not in my opinion these are by far the best looking pair of audio glasses on here now you're going to have two speakers on each 
frame. You got one speaker here and one speaker here and the same on the other side. And you got the branding, your Soundcore branding here on one side and then the branding on the other side. Man, how nice would this have been in a matte finish, right? A matte finish on here would have been really nice. Now, to turn these on, you actually have to hold down right where these curves are. That's where you have to place both fingers and turn these on. They don't turn on automatically, and then you are going to pair it to your Bluetooth, and then you can open up the Soundcore app, which I am going to show you, and then we'll get into the rest of the video, and we will do a mic test, and I'll talk about the latency, and I'll tell you how they sound, but let's check out the app. Now, once you are in the app, it will ask you to pair with the frames, and if you have a firmware update, if it needs a firmware update, it will take you and walk you through the update, and then it will open up here to this part. So device settings, if you just click on that, it's gonna take you into the app. Now you can add your frames, whatever frame you have, the tour. This is a list of all the frames that they have. The Landmark Clear, you have Landmark Tortoise, Marina, all different ones. Festival, the Harbor, these are the ones. Polarized, blue light glasses with a blue shade to it, blue tint, those are the ones I am going to pick up. And then the Landmark Black, which is what you see right here and this is the small size and again a little too small for my head but i will put them on so you guys can see how they look now you can back out of here and this is your open surround now there is battery life on here as well so i will have to charge these up soon and speaking of battery life it does say five and a half hours but it's more realistically about four to four and a half hours depending on how loud you are listening to music too but there is a fast charge feature a 10 minute charge will get you 90 minutes of use and the codex on here sbc and aac and it is bluetooth 5.2 for your connection now let's just get into the rest of the app open surround you can turn that on and off a unique dual speaker design delivers open ear surround sound for a concert like experience and just remember there is going to be sound leakage on these now a privacy mode this actually will lower the volume a little bit so it doesn't disturb others in your area so if you want some peace and quiet if you don't want others to hear what you are listening to then you can turn that on and it will change that. Now, there is some EQ settings in here. They're just presets. You do have the sound core signature, the acoustic, the dance, the podcast, and the classical. So different options depending on what you like. All very similar, right? You're not going to get a big difference with the sound quality on these because, well, they're open-ended. Think of open-ended earbuds. You know, you're not going to have a lot of bass on here. We might as well talk about the sound quality on here since we are talking about the presets. But Volume-wise, they're good. I think they're fine for what these are, but the sound quality on here, don't expect any bass, right? You're not going to feel that bass. These aren't that. They're not meant for that. So if you are looking for something bass-heavy, <laughs> these aren't for you. But I think most people understand what they're getting into if they buy a product like this. The clarity on here is really, really good. Very clean, very nice. Listening to audio Listening to content like videos and things like that is really good, especially when you're just chilling. Say you're outside, you're just going for a walk or something, you have your sunglasses on, and you don't have to have anything in your ear. It's just it's just very nice in my opinion. I like how these sound for what they are. I think they do a really good job with the clarity on here. The bass, you know, it's lacking, but it's, it's expected, so I don't mind it at all. Now, the custom EQ on here, you do have a slider on here that you can change and you know set it to what you want now wearing detection this is basically in your detection for your glasses so if you are playing music you take them off it will pause automatically and you put it back on and it will play and it works very very well now wearing calibration you can calibrate these to fit better on your head i don't really mess with that i probably will mess with that once i get the frames that i actually want so I am going to be picking up the harbors. Now your controls on here. You can change your controls. Right now, out of the box, double tap is set to play and pause. And I leave it on there. But just be aware. I want you to think about wearing glasses on your head, right? So if I tap left or right, or right or left, if I tap that way, I am actually pushing that kind of into my head. So double tap on here. It works, you just have to get used to, you're moving the glasses every time you do that. 
It's just a little wonky in my opinion, but it does work. You just have to kind of find that sweet spot, get used to how it works, and then it should be fine. Now the swiping on here is completely different. The swipe gestures on here are fantastic. They work really well. You can customize the right and the left, both front and back. And as you can see here on the left side, I do have the volume up and down. And on the right side, I do have next track and previous track. And you can go in and set up your voice assistant however you want to set it up. That is just how I will do it. And laboratory, you can do voice control on here and control these with your voices. Not for me, but it's cool that it's there where you can power off in three seconds. And then you have your firmware update on these glasses. So now you can see how they look again. Not my style, but for the sake of the video, we are going to wear them. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to play some epidemic sound just so you can get an idea of the sound leakage on these. And I'm going to play it right about 60 to 70 percent volume on here. And let's just hear some music. All right, guys, let me hear how that sounded. If you could hear that, there will be some sound leakage on here. But right now, we are going to do a mic test. This is what the microphones will sound like if you're on a phone call. And look, I've talked on these a few, and I like them. I think for what they are, I think it does a good job. Two mics on each frame. So four mics total. Let me know. Drop some comments, and let me know what you think of the sound quality, well, on a phone call. Now, as far as latency goes on these frames, look... These are not meant for gaming. Let's just be real. Not meant for gaming, but watching content, YouTube videos, anything like that, Netflix, Amazon Prime, enjoy. It's going to be a good experience. You really won't notice any bit of delay whatsoever. But gaming on these, they're just not meant for that. You know, if you want to get and game with something, get some earbuds or some gaming earbuds, whatever you need. But the frames, they're meant for listening to music. They're meant for a, you know, just to look cool have some cool sunglasses and listen to some music at the same time. If you want to watch some movies, go ahead. If you want to watch some YouTube, go ahead. But if you're trying to game with these, you're not going to like it. But overall, look, are these things worth the price? Again, these things are $199.99. And I love the how customizable these are, right? 10 different types and styles of frames to fit whatever it is that you like, whatever it is that you want, they are going to have something for everyone. But let me know, what do you guys think of the design on here, right? The frame's not as thick as some of the ones that have come before it. Very well built, in my opinion, and very lightweight. These things are not heavy at all, so you're going to have no issues wearing these the whole day. You just have to find a pair of frames that you like. But the Soundcore frames, let me know what you think, guys. Soundcore doing big things <laughs> basically all the time. Every time they have a drop, they just do big things. They get better and better. One of my favorite companies. You guys know that if you follow the channel. If you don't, hit that like. A sub would be appreciated. I'll be back soon, guys. Peace.